What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video, got another electronics video for you. Today we're talking about the Target Lock and Mega Live. Some settings, what the turret does, how to walk you through it. Let's go. So I got a call yesterday from a friend of a friend that tracked down my number and had some questions about the target lock and Mega Live and setup and the features and all that stuff. So I figured today is as good of a day as any to kind of walk you guys through uh, my the front of the boat and uh, the the target lock and the the old tracks, some settings, some things I do to help simplify the front end of the boat and get the best picture and find the best fishing spots. So first off, what is target lock? So target lock is this mechanism right here. It is basically a turret. It uh, allows me to aim and control my mega live, my forward facing sonar unit uh, transducer separately if I want than my trolling motor. So that's what this unit is right here. Uh, it's got a little arrow up top that kind of shows where my, my sonar beam is pointing, uh, but that's it. I got the 360 over here, got my old Trex here, my mega live transducer there on the target lock. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, deploy it and show you guys some little uh, tips for setting it up. It's got a foot pedal over here. I'll show you guys how to control it and then show you guys some overlays of the picture and how cool it is to use, especially if you're an offshore fisherman. If you're a guy that really likes to uh, get off the bank, fish open water, spot lock maybe in the wind, but still have in the separate individual control of where that live transducer is shooting, this is a unit for you. So I'll show you guys how to use that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and readjust the camera. We'll get the live in the water and show you guys some cool settings and how I set this up. All right, so now that I kind of explained what the target lock is, let's talk about some of the features. Now, what's what I, I mentioned earlier, what sets this apart from not having one is if you want to be able to control where your forward-facing sonar beam is separately, individually from the trolling motor. Now, as soon as live came out, I got it, and I actually had a, another turret on the market um, on the boat because I like to fish offshore, I like to uh, spot lock, and I want to be able to control where that beam is uh, facing, where it's pointing. The downside is you lose that kind of quick sweep search mode that a lot of guys like to move. You know, they move that, that Ultrax foot pedal up and down, and they're just panning out there. Go ahead and show you guys. They're just panning left and right, looking for bait fish. So what I lost when I went with another turret was I lost the ability to do that, to quick scan and just kind of search with my trolling motor. Um, so when Target Lock came out about a year ago, one of the key selling points to me was the ability to click a button, they call it Minkota steer, and now I can turn it on or off controlling where that live transducer beam shoots uh, with my trolling motor. So now I have the best of both worlds. Not only that, they went ahead and added a sweep feature. So if you're down along you know, fishing the bank, you can have, this has saved me a bunch of times, it's caught me a bunch of fish. Um, I'll be fishing, looking down, and see out here a school of bait fish, right? I never would have seen the fish on the school of bait fish out there, and because I had it on that scanning feature, here I'm fishing like normal. 
I'm fishing the bank, I'm throwing a spinnerbait, I'm throwing a topwater, an underspin, an A-rig, whatever it may be, but off to the port side, there's fish actively feeding on bait fish, you know, 10, 12 feet below the surface that I never would have seen uh, without having that, that scanning mode on. So there is a little foot pedal over here. I'll get a close up of that real quick for you. Show you guys this. It's got left, right. That's your target lock. We're gonna talk about that here in just a second. And this is a key, key uh, piece to the uh, to the unit. That is an in, uh, a button that you can customize to set whatever setting you want. Maybe you want it to store a waypoint. Maybe you want it to reset your live straight ahead off the bow of the boat. Maybe you want it uh, the feet the the panning feature, the sweeping feature. Maybe you want it to kill. The, the sonar ping completely, just stop pinging. Uh, I have it set to Minn Kota steer so I can click it on and off, controlling it with my troll motor because here's the deal, when you hit spot lock and that motor starts kind of finding itself and angling itself into the wind, you don't want that, that sonar, that live, just following that spot locked uh, tr uh, trolling motor. So that's what I have it set up to. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick. So. Now that we kind of talked about the target lock, we talked about the turret system, uh, let's go ahead and use it. I'll show you guys some of the features, uh, how to set it up, and uh, then we'll go run down this wall and see if we can find some fish or some bait fish, maybe some standing timber in the water. So I'm gonna drop the camera down, kind of go through some settings for you guys. So we have the, the foot pedal feature over here. I talked about the right and left that controls where that mega live is facing. So now that we have the turret, let's talk about uh, some key things to do when you're setting it up. First thing I do, hit the home menu, home button, go into the settings menu. First thing is chirp sonar. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you're gonna target, you're gonna calibrate your target lock heading sensor. So you want that to be accurate. So let's go ahead and do that right now. You can see this guy is just up here. It's gonna do a 360 one direction <clears throat> and a 360 the other direction. And it's gonna recalibrate itself to make sure that it's accurate. I like to do this uh, Every few times I'm out of the water, if I can, every time I, I launch, I recalibrate it just so it's good for the day. Make sure that it's accurate because I want it to, uh, I want it to be accurate when we actually use the target lock feature. And that is probably the coolest feature of this unit that we haven't even talked about yet. So we'll let this calibrate, but uh, we're at 76%. What the target lock does, say I'm panning left or right, or I have it on that search mode, that panning left or right, and boom, I find a rock pile, a school of fish, whatever it may be that I want to either waypoint or lock onto, when I find it, I can hit that target lock button, and that's gonna keep that mega live pointed right at whatever I want, whatever I just saved. So now I can take my trolling motor and do a 360 degree circle around whatever object or thing that is, and my target lock is gonna adjust the arrow and never lose that piece of structure, or obviously if bait fish are gonna move around, but let's say it's something solid not moving, uh, you know, that, that rock pile or, or stump or whatever it may be, I can do donuts around that piece of structure uh, and never lose sight of it on my live. And I'm gonna show you guys that here in just a second. So now that we calibrated the head on the target lock, um, let's go ahead and, oh, one other thing that I like to do, you come down here, you got your um, target lock, one boat network button. You have your foot pedal and your remote. So your foot pedal, this button right here that you can customize, here's all the different things you can do. 
home position. So like I said, that, that live will reset to right off the bow of the boat. Minn Kota steer. So I can click that on or off, controlling it with my trolling motor. I don't have to use the left and right on the foot pedal switch. Mark waypoint, disable pinging, and then that sweep feature. So I like to set mine at Minn Kota steer. You can see I already have that done. So I have that Minn Kota steer set. Now let's go look at some stuff. So you can see right there, right and left on the foot switch. Say my trolling motor is pointed off to the port side of the boat. If I hit this one boat network button right here, boom, that resets that target lock to the same, it's pointing at the same location that my Mega Live, or that my trolling motor is pointing at. So my Mega Live is now pointing with my trolling motor, and now I can steer where that live looks with my trolling motor. And that was the number one thing that people complained about, about having the turret, is they lost that, that, con that control ability with the actual trolling motor. And so I saw guys mounting it on uh, different things to try and fix that. But uh, these guys, when they, when they did all this, they really thought that through and that's one of the best features. So the other feature that I really love, let's go see if we can find a piece of structure or something that we can lock onto. So you can see right now, I'm controlling this with my trolling motor. I'm running up this bank, looking for school of bait fish, looking for fish down on bottom. Let's go ahead and drop my depth down. The other thing I do, I never run this on auto. I always set my uh, distance out away from the boat manually and my depth manually. So right now we're set at 80 feet. We can go 90. I've done it out to like 120, 130 looking for uh, bait fish out over uh, open water. Let's see what we got. Coming into shore. Pretty much a ghost down out here. Let's go loop around and see if we can find something out here to. Also, my settings from Omega Live, if you guys are asking, I play around with different settings, especially if I'm in like standing timber. Uh, I'll drop my sensitivity down, I'll, I'll drop my contrast down. It's like a 12 to 5. Uh, right now, we are running 16 and 7. I'm always tweaking that depending on uh, water clarity, sediment in the water, distance out that I need to be from the fish, distance out that I need to be looking, all that stuff comes into play. Okay, let's see what we got. Tried to get over here in a shady spot where you guys wouldn't have any reflection off the, off the units. But it's not looking like there's any, any life So down here again, you got the straight ahead. Oh, just lost something. Let's go back to uh, Minn Kota steer. There we go. There's a ball of bait. Let's set that to 90. So now I can, I can either way, uh, waypoint that or I can hit target lock. Okay. Now that's going to lock, that's going to lock my live pointing right at that ball of fish. So if I was spot locked, now my trolling motor can do whatever it wants, but you can see as we're drifting, it's staying, it's adjusting itself to look back past the starboard side of the boat um, at that school of fish. Obviously they're moving, Let's see if we can track them down.
<laughs> Looks like a school of uh, of crappie. But uh, throw my rig out there just for fun, just to show you guys what the screen looks like. There's the rig. See if I can get the fish to split. <laughs> nope. So if you're a crappie fisherman, you can see right now how that totally helps. I don't have any crappie jigs on me. But you guys can see how having that separate from the actual transducer, the, uh, I'm sorry, the trolling motor really helps we're about to get blasted with some uh some rollers but uh hopefully that hold this so it doesn't go in the water About to go underneath the boat but hopefully that shows you guys uh or at least opens up the ideas where you can use the different uh different features on this target lock like i said i've had it for i don't know maybe i've had a turret on the boat since forward facing sonar came out because like i said i'm a i'm a offshore guy for the most part but even when I'm fishing the bank, you know, I'm fishing the bank like I said throwing top water spinner bait whatever and I have that thing on panning mode You know, it's going to be searching out in front to the port, the starboard side of the boat, out in front. You can see these fish down here on 2D sonar now, really starting to show up. Um, but it's just another tool in the arsenal. Uh, the target lock, like I said, uh, a lot of guys didn't like losing the controllability of the live with their trolling motor. They got used to seeing where the head of the trolling motor was pointing and that's what, that's the cast they're making. Um, but now you have the best of both worlds. You can click that little button, lock it into your trolling motor, control it with your trolling motor or not. Uh, like I said, if you're spot locked, now you're spot locked into the wind, you can have that thing on panning, you can find your the structure you wanna fish, line it up, uh, lock on it, waypoint off it. That's another cool feature. I can literally now, you know, point and waypoint off of the live. And I can't tell you how many brush piles I have found with just the panning, just fishing. You know, I'm not side imaging. I'm not idling over anything. I'm just fishing throughout the day. I'm fishing. I'm looking, find a new brush pile, point, touch, waypoint it. Bam, now I have a new uh, area to fish, a new, um, a new waypoint, and uh, it's just helped my fishing tremendously. You know, the, the forward-facing sonar is not a save-all, catch-all. You know, there's a lot to learn about this technology. You know, Matt and I going way back, you know, chasing some of those world record class spotted bass. You know, we learned that those fish, because they come accustomed, they learn that sonar ping real quick. So um, it's not, these fish are learning. You know, you talk to some anglers now, they're already learning about the different pings and the distances and stuff to stay away from. They're getting weary, but um, it is a, such a major tool. You know, I use it, I use it for finding grass lines, uh, finding laydowns, fishing my bait just above the lay down. I don't need to necessarily see fish. I want to just make sure that I'm fishing the right depth. If I'm throwing an A-rig, if I'm not fishing um, 
on bottom where I need to be. If I see the thermocline or I see the bait fisher down at a certain depth, I wanna make sure that my bait's staying down, my deep diving crank. You know, forward facing sonar, it's it's a tool that that uh, can be used for uh, many, many different reasons. But um, it's been awesome to have, paired up with a target lock, paired up with a 360. That is my setup. Again, make sure you go into the settings, hit that home button, go into settings, first setting, chirp sonar, go to the bottom, calibrate your heading sensor. Uh, you can adjust right here at your installation depth. You can adjust that. That will actually adjust uh, where your beam is shooting uh, relative to the top of your screen. So if you're throwing top water, or you're throwing something like a glide bait higher in the, up in the water column, it allows you to see that stuff better. But uh, that is a down and dirty on the target lock. You know, wind's picking up, I can spot lock. I don't need, I don't need my, uh, my transducer, my Mega Live transducer, following around that spot lock as it's trying to find itself, work itself in the wind. You know, now I can literally stay on that piece of cover or structure, whatever it may be that I'm trying to fish. I got a fish down here in bottom, down there at 40 foot, 40 feet out. Um, I can control it completely separate from the Ultrex, and that is a huge plus, a huge lifesaver, especially if you're an offshore fisherman. Now, this isn't for everybody, um, but like I said, I'm an offshore fisherman. I like to fish deep, clear water reservoirs, you know, finding fish suspended. That is the last frontier in bass fishing, finding those spotted bass, the smallmouth, big, largemouth, suspended under bait, uh, you know, 20 feet down over 150 feet of water. Uh, that is a tool that really, really helps. Guys, if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments section. But I hopefully hopefully that helps. Now you can understand the whole turret system, the, the target lock, the features, the waypointing, all that good stuff. But down below in the comments section, if you have questions, leave them. I'll try and get to those as soon as possible. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you learned something from this video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys on the next video.